Well, the primary is behind us, and the winning candidates have their eyes set on the general election now 132 days away. The big takeaway from the primary voter turnout was dismally low. Only about 20% of eligible voters made their voices count. Yesterday, voters chose who will face off this fall to be Maryland's next governor. Lieutenant Governor Anthony Brown took the Democratic primary with 53% of the vote. And for the Republicans, it's Larry Hogan with the pretty decisive win. Both men were front runners in their respective races. So that has set up a Brown versus Hogan race this November. Both campaigns are already looking ahead to that. 11 News I team reporter David Collins has a look at the race to be Maryland's next governor. David. Well, Donna, one of the golden rules of politics is don't let your opponent define you. Larry Hogan is expected to frame the race around a theme of changing the status quo of high taxes and unfriendly business climate. Anthony Brown will tout his tax reform plans, but also expand the conversation to include issues surrounding education and the environment. Thank you to each and every one of you for making tonight possible. We did it. Thank you. The November face-off begins right now. Lieutenant Governor Anthony Brown, a protege of Governor Martin O'Malley, versus former Bob Ehrlich cabinet member Larry Hogan. These are not proxies of former governors. Uh, Larry Hogan is quite different from Bob Ehrlich. And uh, Larry Hogan is making it clear that, that he is a kinder, gentler version of Bob Ehrlich. Republicans are banking on voter fatigue of eight years of the O'Malley Brown administration. We're almost on the verge of a tax revolt here in Maryland, and it doesn't really matter if you're Republican or Democrat. People don't want to keep voting for the same guys that have been doing this to us. Hogan, during his acceptance speech, even invited Gansler and Mazir supporters to help him change Maryland. <laughs> While Brown's primary message resonated with Democrats, He's now moving toward more moderate territory in the general election. Uh, we're going to talk about fiscal responsibility in government. There is going to be comprehensive tax reform. Doug Gansler's run for governor turned bumpy from the start. First, he suggested Brown is relying on his African American heritage to win. Then came allegations that he ordered his state trooper security detail to use their police powers to avoid traffic jams and to get him places quicker. His judgment came into question when he visited his son at a Delaware beach party where underage drinking was going on. Well, I think the main problem that Gansler had, had was, was not some of his missteps along the way, but that he never put together uh, a, a compact agenda. Heather Mazir got 20% of the vote, but also became a spoiler. Heather Mazir cost Doug Gansler any chance of winning. You put uh, their votes together and you have a relatively close race. Three of the Republican candidates did not have the money to mount a competitive statewide campaign. Now, Democrats outnumber Republicans two to one in Maryland. Analysts say Hogan has a chance, but it may depend on what happens with the national economy. Discontent could sway some Democrats and independent voters to Hogan. Reporting live from the studio, David Collins, WBAL TV 11 News.